on the other hand, the book inherited a life of its own. It's not to be thought of as a as an as just a light uh, counterforce <laughs> to the series. No, it's not. It's not a disguise. It's a really thoroughly researched academic book that can be used as a primer in high school, in high schools for American history. It's as good as any primer that I've ever read. Yeah, they definitely do exist as standard. And it is being used. Yeah. in a lot of college classes already in the United States, and now we're told that it's being used in a lot of college classes in Japan and elsewhere, too. So it, it, it stands on its own. It's a, and it's a serious, serious work of scholarship. Which is why we're here today, to talk to these uh, librarians association, because we'd like to put it, frankly, in the school systems in, in high school. Mm -hmm. And to that, uh, what role do you see librarians and teachers, um, what do you think their role is in to tell this story? Librarians' role is to open the eyes of the uh, of the of the public. They're all, they're to read. They see the new. They're supposed to be tolerant and liberal and not all Texas School Board education types. I hope, but uh, I'm sure there are some librarians who would not. But I do think that you must give the young reader a chance to s sample a different history. Because Oliver and I both grew up as readers, and it was that reading that opened up our minds and our imagination. And that's being lost to a younger generation. Kids don't read as much as they used to. They don't read as much as we did. That's what made us dream. It was, it was reading, it was envisioning, it was living other people's lives, seeing other experiences, broadened our horizons, made this possible, made us who we are.